If you have hiatal hernia syndrome, you may have been told you have a shortened esophagus. And we're gonna go into how that can happen, things you can do about it. There are some times that you can't do anything about it, but I like to focus on things we can change to our benefit. So uh, one of the reasons you can get a shortened esophagus is that you've had chronic acid reflux for a very long period of time that has created inflammation, redness, because of course acid is not supposed to bathe the esophageal tissues and due to that you get scarring or called fibrosis. And if you have a scar anywhere, you'll know that that tissue is not elastic anymore. It's, it's pretty constrained and it tends to tighten. So that's a reason you can get a shortened esophagus from very, very chronic acid reflux, which is of course why uh, if you have symptoms of acid reflux, we wanna jump on this as soon as possible, get to the root cause and have you not have that problem. 